Once you get to assignment 12 advanced or table 4, hopefully you're getting to the point where you can look at code and kind of start figuring out what it is. So I'm not going to tell you everything you need to know to make this web page. But I'm going to say that if you click on this picture here or click here to visit the website, you will have the website pop up and you can right click on the background and view the page source. I'm going to give you a couple of hints here so you can see how I did this. You have your basic code here in the body. The background is a picture, obviously, and I've made all the links this color and all the V links this color. I have a center tag, and I start my table. My table ends here. So almost the entire page is in a table. My cell padding is 12 pixels. That kind of gives it that separate look. Now my first TR has a table data and it has a column span, a call span or column span of four. Now if I show you what that looks like on here, you'll notice that there are, that there's one, two, three, four. So there are four things going across and this is the, this is, this is the table row. This is, this is it right here. One, two, three, four. This whole top thing right here, this nine coolest superheroes ever and the coolest superheroes of all time, this is in the first table row and in one table data because that table data goes all the way across. It has a, let's see, a, as you can see, it has a call span of four, a column span. So notice TR, one TD. I've centered it. I've put in that image. That image is that picture here right at the top. Um, and you'll notice that the font color is white, and I have the words, the coolest superheroes of all time. As you can see here, the coolest superheroes of all time. So that's all in the first table data, right here, table data. And then we end the table data, and we end the table row. But that table data lasts for four columns. Okay, so that's the end of that first line there. Now we come to the next one, table row. And this is tricky, because what this is, is this is actually going to be this part on the side here. Notice I have a picture. It says in the movies. I have a bunch of this stuff and I have a picture. Now notice the bullets. These are actually what we call line items. This is, and I'll get to that in a second. So here we have uh, table data in our next table row and the row span is seven. The row span is seven. Right? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. This is the seven. This is actually the first one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So notice how that this is included, and the row span is seven all the way down. So that just means that it's coming all the way down, all the way on the side. Um, we have one table data here with a row span of seven. Uh, we go image source, and that's this first image. That's that picture that's on top there. Um, we have. Let's see, yeah, so is that, uh, yeah, that's the picture right here, the Iron Man picture. We have a BR tag, I have the words in the movies, this is an H3, so it's like an H1, but not as big, it's smaller. I've made the color white, oh, font color white, you mean you can just do color equals quote and put in the name of a color? Yeah, you can, pretty cool, huh? Anyway, and then we have font colors. You can also do this way. This is the old school way. Okay, F color, we have face, size two. Hollywood often looks to comic book heroes. We have a line item. When you put in the li tag, it simply makes it a bullet point. Don't forget to close the li tag as well. It's a line item. That's what gives you the bullet points here. And then once you're past that, you're to the end of the TR. You start the next TR, and it's pretty much just like regular from there out. I say here's a table data. My ahref is going to take you to this Wolverine Wikipedia page. Uh, the font color is going to be white. I have an image. It's Wolverine. The border is 5. The height is 180. And uh, that's that. So that's that picture you have right here. This is the Wolverine picture. Notice the white border around it. Um, something else I'd like to point out is that the next table row actually has table data and a background of this table data BG picture, right? So t this table data BG thing. Um, and if I show you what that looks like, I can come to uh, this one. And you notice how there's like this, this thing behind Wolverine. In the table data, I just gave it a background. I made that in Photoshop, and um, and it's pretty cool. So that's just what that is. And uh, yeah, so the rest of it's pretty normal. Tried to explain it pretty well, and uh, good luck, guys.